This segment brought to you by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. So here we got an alfalfa field. As you can see on the edge, we're just starting to harvest it here. So that's about as high as they're going to let it get. And uh, we should find a lot of interesting uh, beneficial species in here because apart from wheat, alfalfa is the other wonderful spring crop that hosts all the early generations of our beneficial species that uh, after the alfalfa is cut, many of them will leave and again uh, enter the other summer crops where they help us with biological control of different pests. So let's see what kind of insect diversity we can find here. Oh my goodness. So look at that. So, <laughs> wow. so, okay, everybody that's taken off there, you can see the nabid bugs, lots of lady beetles, mostly hippodamia and some C-Mac. But what we've got is basically a half a cup of pea aphids. <laughs> look at the pea aphids. Oh, wow. And you see, you look at this crop and it probably has taken some vigor for, out of the crop, all these aphids. But, you know, oh, and look, there's a tarnished plant bug. That's another pest. Unfortunately, we got to take the good with the bad and one of the things alfalfa does is produce a lot of tarnished plant bug and they are a pest and uh, they will damage ripening grain uh, sorghum for example and so yeah we'd expect to find some tarnished plant bug but look at all these aphids that's actually quite a heavy population of pea aphids and there actually are several other species of aphids in alfalfa so you've got some cowpea aphids which would be the dark ones we don't see any. There's a tiny little surfeit fly. So again, the larvae of the surfeits, the hoverflies, are going to be feeding on the aphids as well. But you see how big and fat those pea aphids get. So you know that's like these are like the biggest, juiciest aphids for that coccinellids ever get to eat. Um, okay, I got I got some cowpea aphids. So those are the black ones. And so there's also some usually and maybe later in the summer we'll have some is uh, spotted alfalfa aphid as well. So again, three species of aphids normally um, in, the, in the alfalfa, and that makes it wonderful uh, nursery for our natural enemies. As long as there are not so many that they're really damaging the crop. So that's a surprising number of aphids. So let's see what it's like over here. So let's see another 10 sweeps. So there's a big, there's our largest lady beetle there, which is C7, Coccinella septima, the seven spot. Not a native species, but it likes alfalfa and it likes uh, wheat and it contributes to biocontrol. Lots of hippodamia convergence, our most abundant species. There's some small fly species. Another coleomegala. A couple more damsel bugs. And finally, this is what we were looking for, the green lacewing. Let's go to that pea aphid. Beautiful little fella. So that's Chrysoperla carnea with the golden eyes. And again, these guys have voracious larvae that do very well eating aphids. And they don't just eat aphids, they'll eat a lot of other soft-bodied insects. But my goodness, we grew some pea aphids in this field, didn't we? So what are we not seeing that we would expect to see? Oh wait, we found it. The alfalfa weevil, of course, is what I was looking for. So the alfalfa weevil is, is really the primary pest. And that is the reason this crop will be sprayed. And it probably was sprayed, which is why we don't find very many. We found one in 20 sweeps. Now, if there were a problem, there'd be one in every single sweep or more. Plus, it was an adult. If there was defoliation going on right now, it would be the larvae. And so they can be so bad that the whole field will turn a silvery gray. And so that's the main pest here is the alfalfa weevil and they will spray for that and they probably did and that's one of the reasons they may have so many aphids as well because when they're spraying unless they use a very selective material they're going to kill a lot of the natural enemies so then they have to come back in and in that time boy those aphids could really get a head start so that's my best guess of what's going on here is to begin with the cold weather really slowed down the natural enemies more than the aphids then we probably had a treatment for alfalfa weevil that killed the natural, the earlier natural enemies and so they had to recolonize and in that time the, uh, the aphids got a little heavy. <laughs>